Hello everyone, I hope you're having a happy holiday season. I wanted to come on real quickly and share with you a quick project that I created and the dies that I used to create it with. So this is the Sizzix die. It's a treat bag and candy. And of course you can use it for Halloween, but I decided to use it for Christmas. So I picked that one out. It's from my stash. And then this one is a Momenta die that I picked up from Tuesday morning, and I um, used some of the little dies in here for the bag. All right. And I believe that's everything that I use. Now, excuse my desk, it's a complete mess. Um, I have way too many things on here to move it because I have little teeny tiny um, like die cut pieces below here, so I can't move it out of the way, but anyways, so I created these cute little um, bags. As you can see, the little tags. It says Sweet Wishes, and this one says Sweet. I was going to say Sweet Christmas. Um, I ha just have to find uh, my Christmas dice to put Christmas on there. And as you can see, the little gingerbread men and the cookies that are um, just kind of tucked behind and around. Some of these are from AliExpress, like this die here and these dies. Or from AliExpress um, and um, I just made a little bag with some of the paper that I picked up from Recollections um, it's a Christmas paper pad from Recollections I forget the name of it but I'm sure you um, with the stripes here and then this one as well so um, but I'm sure you've all seen the paper from from Michaels some great deals Here's this one. I used a little lollipop um, from that die. Oh no, that was a different die. <laughs> but um, there's this one. And I'm probably going to add some string or ribbon to the top and just kind of um, make them into a tag. And then the back, I'm going to reinforce with white cardstock, or else I'll just put them on a tag haven't quite decided. I was going to stick some of this. Um, this is a tonic dye that I picked up from Tuesday morning. It's a mistletoe dye. And I was going to kind of tuck it around. I'm not sure if I'll do that yet. But I have two of them here that I could easily tuck around. You know, just kind of, um, excuse me, and just kind of add a few things around there so but anyways I really had fun I used some of that foil paper from Michaels I believe it was like under three dollars it's really um, inexpensive right now we didn't have the um, the green we only had it in the uh, silver and the red in case you're wondering um, but I know that some places um, some Michaels stores do have the green as well Oh, and talking about Michaels, um, real quickly, because um, this video is only like three minutes, um, I did pick up this um, stamp set. I love this. It says, A Very Sweet Christmas, The Little Gingerbread House and the Gingerman here, Gingerbread Men and the Warmest Wishes, Homemade Especially for You. So I thought that would be a fun stamp set. I also picked this one up. And it comes with the stamps as well. And then I also picked this one up because of the cute little tags and the stamp sentiments that you can stamp in there. I love that it says no peeking, making spirits bright, a Merry Christmas to you, a little holiday cheer, and happy holidays, seasons, greetings, and Noel. So I had to pick that one up. And again, they were all on sale. So... I did cut these ones out, or I mean stamp these out. They don't come with dies, sorry. Um, but uh, my ink pad is needs to be thrown out, and I need to get a new one. So they're not perfect stamped, but just so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like stamped out. So really cute. All right, so that is my share today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.